Welcome to the Mantis Bible Study for video series. We're looking at the newly released NIV module for Mantis Bible Study. And uh, here we have the uh, NIV showing up as our currently selected Bible. And uh, we can scroll through the text. And you'll notice right away that uh, we have red text uh, and the words uh, of Jesus are all in red. Uh, we also have uh, uh, the Bible separated into paragraphs, uh, and you can turn that off if you like, but most people like to read a paragraph of thought, of thought at a time. And we also have uh, section headers uh, at the top of most chapters or in, inside of a chapter if, uh, if there's a new section. You'll also notice uh, while you're reading the text that uh, we have uh, asterisks throughout, and asterisks can be uh, cross-references or translation notes. In this case, I've just tapped on a cross-reference at the end of uh, verse 3 here, and there's several cross-references, and many times these are uh, parallel passages as well. And uh, what you can do after you, well actually you can tap them to open them and then close them up again. Uh, I'm going to tap to open this uh, this one, and there's many different references. And if I want to see the reference, I can uh, just tap on it, and it'll preview the reference right inside the text here. So I'm reading John 10:38 right inside my John chapter 3 here. And again, I can tap these to open and close them uh, one at a time, or I can actually have more than one open at a time if if I prefer. But I'm just going to leave one open here. Um, the uh, asterisks inside the nested text also work. Uh, that gets a little confusing, but uh, if you wanted to dig even deeper without leaving your place in the text, you can do that. Also, if you tap on the NIV link here, uh, this is a 4.1 feature. In uh, 4.0, I think it'll take you directly to that verse. But in 4.1, uh, uh, tapping on the NIV link uh, allows us to instantly create a bookmark for John 14.10, which is our cross-reference link, or we could go to analyze that verse, we can jump to that verse and start reading in context, or I'm just going to hit cancel right here because I don't really want to do that at this point. Okay, so that's uh, the uh, cross-references. You'll also sometimes find uh, translation notes. This one, uh, if uh, the text comes up in purple, you're looking at a translation note, and uh, this particular verse happens to have uh, a translation note and some cross-references in it. Uh, plus, in addition to uh, all these features specific to the uh, the NIV version, uh, you've got all the, the great Mantis features, like if you double tap on the screen, it takes you to full screen mode, and then you double tap again just to get back to the regular mode. Um, you can uh, hit a verse number and go ahead and analyze that verse, and uh, here we can uh, open up our NIV alongside the, the NASS, and or uh, we can compare the New King James, and the message and the NIV all at one time. We can also go to my commentaries. Uh, uh, these uh, Bibles that uh, you were just looking at, those are sold separately and installed separately, as are all the commentaries, uh, Calvin, uh, Guzik, uh, uh, Matthew Poole, J. Vernon McGee, John MacArthur. So if I want to see what John MacArthur says on this verse uh, in his uh, study notes, I can just open this here and, uh, and preview the John MacArthur. And if I have any dictionaries installed, I can uh, open those up and tap words here. Let's say I want to see the Easton's Bible Dictionary entries on Kingdom. I can do that. I can toggle those. Um, I can go to the International Standard Bible Encyclopedia and see what they have on Kingdom. And Vines, they have one entry on Kingdom. And again, these uh, verses are uh, tappable, so I can go preview them. If I go back and back in my NIV text. So this is just a, a quick uh, uh, look at uh, the NIV. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you: uh, if uh, if you're just reading and you don't, uh, you're not really studying. You just want to uh, go through and do some basic reading. You don't want these asterisks here. You can go to Tools, Options, and then turn off the translation notes, and then that'll get rid of all the asterisks, and you're stuck with uh, just the the plain text. And again, to turn those back on, you go Tools, Options, Translation Notes back on done and here they are again. This has been uh, Mantis Bible Study video series, the NIV.